Hello, welcome to this tutorial and today we are going to add another bridge component to our library in Tecla structures. Whatever you see, you see on the screen here is a, a bridge bent or a, a concrete pier. Let's get started a Morris Dimba and if I br bring this close at the bottom end here you can see we have a pad footing or a footing for our pier or a, or a concrete bent. On top here you can see a pedestals, a concrete pedestals on top of it so these pedestals normally provides a seating for for our bridge or uh, a seating for for the bearing normally elastomeric bearing are normally used underneath the bridge uh, structure and the bearings are normally placed in between two thick plates the top plate provides a seating for this for the superstructure normally uh, the concrete deck and uh, the bottom plate sits on top of the substructure in, in this particular case this is the substructure we are talking about and in this case it is the concrete bent or or the pier and the bearings is a very simple thing it's just a natural rubber with a low damping effect and uh, a, a series of compartments of shims in between uh, i mean inside that uh, simple rubber or natural rubber now we want to include or add this component to our library so that when we we create another bridge that requires uh, a, uh, a bent or uh, uh, a concrete pier with the same specifications or measurements will be only pulling it out from our library and uh, applying it on our model now i'm going to add it into our library so that we have everything required for the bridge creation and the bridge modeling now we'll be moving step by step by creating all the components of the bridge and we'll be adding them into our library and i'll be sharing them on silvermax website and you will be able to download them from there now i'll come here and uh applications and component here if you take a look i have already added one uh, one two there so I, i'll test this if it's really it is working I'll, I'll select on it so to to know whether it's working the moment you click on it if you check at the at the bottom end here end here you'll be able to see tecla structure is, is able to read uh, whatever you're trying to to request and it will request you to uh, it will ask you, uh, ask you to pick the position where you intend to place that component so in this case we'll define this that uh, that point and that point and we'll be able to see we have another component in place now let me just delete this uh, the de de delete it and now show you how we can add this if you missed the previous uh, t uh explanation or demonstration on how you can add a component into your library once you've created that component now i'm going to get started right here so once you've clicked this button here under applications and component here just right click on empty space right there then mouse over the um, create group click on that then uh, type in here custom component custom component custom component right there and go ahead and click okay we have already an existing custom component so we don't need to create one what you are going to do just uh, click okay or if you want to uh, the group uh, exists so we can just go ahead and click ok now what we're going to do we're going straight to this button here cl click access advanced features now i'll click on that then come to define the component custom component right here so i'm going to add another another one here and, and i'm going to give it a different name in this in this particular case so the moment you click on that edit button you'll be prompted with this custom component wizard we have four steps so we have on the f we are on the first first step and these te steps depends on the type of on type of whatever you want to create either connection detail uh, seam or part in this in this particular case we want to create part now part we have two three steps 
Now, I'll go to positions and I'll leave the positions at the, uh, the way it is. And position type middle and uh, direction just leave it at auto advanced uh, advanced uh, i'll only check this center of the, uh, of uh, center box in positioning i'll come back to types and notes here and give a description of this uh, of this component i'll give it uh, a peer in this particular case bridge peer bridge peer right there or concrete peer concrete peer I'm mixing up the letters here concrete concrete peer right there concrete peer we have it there so the moment you start writing this button of next get activated and remember one thing if you put in or you feed in any symbol it will be deactivated in this in, the, in this particular case let me type in a slash button and it will be grayed off means the the symbols doesn't work so we just leave it like that now i'll go ahead and click next so the moment you click next you'll be requested to answer to to perform the uh, uh, the instruction under uh, the second step in this in this particular case in the model select objects that will form the custom component i'm going to select everything here like that so I'm, I'm going to the next step by clicking next button and i'll be requested to define two points that will help you place the component in whichever area of your work now i'm going to define these two points that point and that point so i'll go ahead and click finish to terminate that instruction now remember the moment you do that uh, a macro or a component uh, icon will be created here you can see it here but still we don't have a, an image or a thumbnail for this so it can, it can confuse you with, with anything but you can recognize it using a con uh, using the letters you you typed in uh, on the description or the name of the components you are trying to add into your library so in this particular case I'm going to give it a thumbnail so a thumbnail it's easy to create here it's easy to create first of all let me first of all hide my grid because i don't want that to be included uh on the image of the uh, on the thumbnail image so i'm going to hide it and once i've i've, I've, I've thrown it away from my vision I'm, I'm going to view section here and the view tab here and come to uh, screenshot and a screenshot here i'll pick the first option on screenshot so we have this small dialog box of screenshot here so i'll come to uh, to options and options here i'll pick white white background and uh, i'll go ahead and click apply or you can play around with the pixels of the image here here uh, apart from the default setting of 72 you can even add 150 but in, uh, we can try 150 or 96 it's upon you but let's just work with the 52 this particular case now i'll go ahead and click apply and give it an okay by clicking on okay button and uh, in uh, under under this section here we'll, we'll pick print your file so that this um, uh, this uh, screenshot can be saved inside this model folder so i'm going to pick area to to, to screenshot i'll click this button here then uh, select the area to to get a screenshot a, a screenshot area i'll snap on that spot once you've, uh, you've you have defined the area of of your screenshot just go ahead and click this capture button here and uh, the the image will be picked and be saved under this folder so just go ahead and close this and once you've done that just go ahead and track down and track down your image I'll come here and try to track it. I'll go to this folder. Leave alone this. These are previous images that we did. I'll come to C and come to uh, Tecla Structures model. Please read that name. It is uh, Bridge Peer 2020. So I'll track it here under this. And uh, I'll find it right there. I've opened it. I'll come to screenshots. I double click, and I'll find it. I'll find it somewhere here. 
So one of these will work better for us. So I can, I can either pick a, 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 a one of these. Uh, you can check the time we did that. You, uh, the screenshot was make was made it is three three thirty seven, and this one is th the time is not known. And we we can pick any of these can work because I've shown you how to do that. Let's pick the bigger one. I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and uh, add it. So you cannot add it directly like this. I I want just to show you how where how and where you can find your image you've just created from from tecla structures now i'll close this and come here under under concrete peer on the 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 component uh you've created and, and added inside your library just right click and come to thumbnail here click on thumbnail and you we want to add the thumbnail click on add thumbnail and we'll track down our image under tackle structures model and scroll down and come to bridge peer 2020 and uh, we'll scroll down and go inside screenshots and pick one of this i'll pick that or you can pick a small a smaller one if you wish i'll pick on that and select on that so we'll uncheck the the default image here we'll uncheck that and the moment you uncheck it uh, this image will appear here so let me just right click right click to uh, to bring everything and try whether this one works i'll select on it and place it somewhere here play i'll place it somewhere somewhere there and there we are i'll now delete this so that we work with this one so let me just populate this and let me first of all hide this and try and use this model we've just pulled in you can check around or have a look around our model it's neatly done and remember you can download this from our site silvermax.com uh, and this is how it looks this is how it looks perfect now let me populate it along the y-axis and see how it works Select on it, right click and come to special copy, pick on linear, and I want to copy it at a distance of maybe five meters or six meters would work much better. Let me come to y axis and just type six meters and how many do you want? How many do you want to want fifteen of this or twenty can work? So just go ahead and click copy. And this is what we have. This is what we have. This not this is what we have. So we can Re, uh, reduce the distance select on it right cl right click and come to special copy and feed in 12 meters 12 meters and give okay right there i'll come to navigate and this is what we have a bridge pier arranged like that and you know, as usual, uh, the pad footing are normally inside the ground. They're not on the surface of the ground. So take note of that. So this is how it looks. And that's how it's done. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new to this channel. And this is your first video, to, uh, first video you bumped in. And uh, please be safe. Stay at home. Corona is real. And be safe. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye. Amor is